With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, they are asking us why the processes such as budding, fragmentation and regeneration are considered as asexual type of reproduction. And also, we have to explain the process of regeneration in planaria with the help of diagrams. Now, we know that reproduction is a process by which living organisms produce young ones of their own kind. But we also see that uh, reproduction can be broadly divided into two categories. On one hand, we have the asexual mode of reproduction and on the other hand, we have the sexual. Now, the main difference here is going to be that in sexual reproduction, we see haploid cells called gametes are going to fuse together and they are going to produce a zygote after fusing with one another by the process called fertilization. Whereas what we are seeing in asexual reproduction is over here a single individual is involved in producing offsprings. So in the case of sexual reproduction both these gametes which are going to produce the new individual. They come from two different parents, one male and one female. So gametes are involved, they undergo fertilization and finally they produce the zygote which is going to turn into the embryo after repeated cell divisions. But in the case of asexual reproduction, different male and female parents are not required. Over here, a single individual is capable of producing offspring. And since there is only one parent, what we are going to see is that the organisms the offsprings which are going to be produced, they are going to be clones of their parent as well as each other. So they are going to be exactly identical. Whereas in the case of sexual reproduction, because two different parents are involved, we see a lot of variation. So the processes which have been listed here, budding, fragmentation, regeneration. In all these three, we see that a single individual is reproducing. We don't have two kinds of parents over here. So since there is only one parent, we are automatically going to place these processes under asexual reproduction, under asexual mode. And if we try to discuss these, first of all, they have given us budding. So budding is most commonly seen in hydra, but also in other smaller organisms like fungi and all. And what we see is a little outgrowth appears on the parent's body and it remains attached to the parent for some time, after which Eventually, it is going to detach from the parent and grow into a new individual. So, such a process is called budding and because only one hydra is able to produce this offspring through this outgrowth on its body, it is an asexual process. Similarly, we have fragmentation, which again we can see in hydra, that if the body is divided into two parts, both of these pieces are going to grow into new individuals. Now again, there are no gametes, there is no fertilization, no male and female parents involved, so it's going to be asexual. And regeneration is again a process coming under the asexual mode of reproduction. As we see in planaria, we have a diagram here. Planaria is an animal that if we cut into multiple pieces, what we are going to see is like this, we have made the cuts. Eventually, all these three pieces are going to grow into new individuals. Such type of uh, reproduction is possible because of some specialized cells that are present in this animal's body, what these cells are going to do when the body is cut up into pieces, in each of these pieces, there are some cells which have the ability to differentiate and develop into different kinds of cells and tissues which are required in the animal's body. So because of these specialized cells, this kind of asexual process is shown by planaria as we can see in the diagram after being cut up into pieces, it has the ability with the help of specialized cells to regenerate each of these pieces into new individuals. So we have discussed the reason we put all these processes under asexual reproduction because single individual is involved in asexual reproduction and in all these three processes there is no gametes, no fertilization. So obviously we cannot call it sexual, no male and female parents involved. And then we have to talk about regeneration in planaria which we have discussed how with the help of specialized cells this organism is able to regenerate every piece of its body. If it is cut up into many pieces, it is able to regenerate all of them into new individuals because some of these cells can undergo differentiation to make different kinds of tissues.
for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.